Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. Today we are looking into the next topic of the chapter 1 which is 1.4 the test analysis. Test analysis. Uh, we have been talking about uh, the different uh, concepts uh, so far that what exactly the test analyst responsibilities in these test processes are. So let's look forward and understand what the key responsibilities of a test analyst in test analysis would be. So generally when we quickly recall that what are the major activities of a test analysis we know that from the foundation that the major activities included as a part of test analysis is to analyze the test basis and identify the test conditions. Now we generally you talk about analyzing the test basis of course it includes understanding the uh, several test documentations, test basis like requirement, design, probably the uh, the control flow diagrams, algorithms or business models, any such thing which could cater you to design your test cases or derive your test conditions. At the same time as you analyze, you also have possibilities of determining the inconsistencies, omissions, misunderstanding to the author who has created the document which you are referring. At the same time, when you are talking about understanding the test basis, analyzing the test basis or reviewing the test basis, parallelly you identify the test conditions which you would consider in more detail later to be deriving your test cases from. Now at this point of time it is very critical for a test analyst to understand and make sure the document is available at the point when the review or the analysis begins. So test analysts must coordinate with the other stakeholders uh, across the team and try to make sure that the documents are available on time so that the test team can start and understand uh, the test basis and start identifying the test conditions. So generally it is uh, in terms of like meeting an inter entry criteria to get started with the test analysis phase. So some of the activities which include are there's a document describing the test object that can serve as a test basis. This document has passed review with reasonable results and has been updated as needed after the review. There is a reasonable budget schedule available to accomplish the remaining testing work for this particular test object. So if you need these, these criteria are basically catering as an entry criteria to the test analysis and which will be definitely uh, measured by the test analyst of the organization which, which or he or she has to make sure that these criteria are fulfilled before you get into the test analysis phase so that the tester do not face any kind of challenges when getting into this activity. At the same time, if you would like to elaborate the identification of test conditions, the test conditions can be identified at the high level, can be identified at low level. It is determined by the test analyst, test analyst that what exactly is the need of high level, at what point we will be going in detail. So cre creating that difference between the high level and low level creation of the test condition will be the key responsibility of the test analyst at this point of time. So at the same time you will also be determining that if a high level test condition later is required to be detailed further. So if you consider put together all of these uh, are the major role and responsibility of the test analyst during the test analysis which is really critical for the team to work smoothly within the given schedule and give the desired output. In some situations uh, there might be possible that the documents are not at all available. For example when you talk about the product based organization we work with specific to uh, common agendas which may, may, we, may hide a, we may have a single line requirement or maybe just one word as well not a detailed document. In that case the test analyst responsibility is to speak to other stakeholders and gather the necessary information what your test team would need to write up the test conditions or identify the test conditions for the same. At the conclusion the test analyst uh, activities the test analyst should know what specific test must be designed in order to meet the needs of the assigned areas of the test project where it generally means that all putting it together is to make sure that the documents are available, make sure that the document has been reviewed, the test team uh, are able to understand the document 
and they are identifying the test conditions then at what point the high level condition would serve you at what point the detailed information would be required will be addressed to the team by the test analyst so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on the same series should you have any query make sure that you feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning